Welcome back to my let's play for Moimon. It's time to make our way to Mount Moon. Yeah, I'll probably pick up a Jigglypuff. After all, who doesn't want a cute little puff ball? But I have to admit, it'll probably be outdone by Clefable in the long run. You gotta feel sorry for Jigglypuff. Back in the day, you know, it just wanted to be on its own, doing its own fun thing, and then came along Clefairy to ruin it by doing it better. Ugh, poor Jigglypuff. Well, kick things off with a Hyper Fang, I suppose. Say so you better not miss Splinters, just kill them and let's move on. Like, I've wasted enough time in this area. Oh, you want us to not Pidgey? Well, let's see who has the better Pidgey. Come back, Splinters, and go, Euphemia! It's time to fly. Or in this case, just Quick Attack. Because we don't know Fly yet, damn it. And I thought I'd use it anyway, I'd probably stick to Wing Attack. Less powerful, but it doesn't take two turns to deploy, gosh darn it. Well, that's one less person to deal with. Yeah, well, you got in my way, so we're even. Let's switch this up. And let's take on this guy. We'll run around the other one. I just want to get this done as fast as possible, because... I know it's going to take a while to find the puffball. Though, not as long as it's going to take to find Glafairy later. Oh my god, Glafairy is going to take forever. Um, let's see, Gust. Seriously, who has a level 10 Caterpie? Who's thinking to themselves, you know what I need? I need a high level Caterpie. Like, like what are you going to do with it? I'm going to tackle with it! That is so lame. <sighs> Well, time to take down the Weedle. I have to admit, I got somewhat a soft spot for Butterfree, but not so much for Beedrill in this game. That's why Butterfree gets to be in the banner, and Beedrill does not. At the bottom, you know? <laughs> Otherwise, these um, games take up so much room, there's not enough room for really my sidebar. So I gotta have an underbar. You know, I'll just leave it blank, I suppose, but... I prefer having something down there, you know, just to fill the blank space. Otherwise, I'd have to have, like, a colored box down there that would have nothing in it. <sighs> Colton, eh? Well, now... I guess he was trying to get on that Colt, and he failed. Oh, shoot, I actually came down. I guess I gotta fight all the bug catchers. Man, I didn't want to deal with all the bugs. Because they're worthless against this team. Well, I guess we'll go with Gust. I was that afraid that Rat's house is going to go with Quick Attack. But no, I guess it wants to stick to Tackle. Well, there we go. Got me that time. Oh, sure, now a critical hit. Well, I don't need it, of course. Isn't that how it always goes, though? Now I'll leave it. After all, I don't think Gus counts as a touch attack, so I can kill this thing without hopefully getting poisoned. That would be preferable. Because I hate being poisoned, you know? It's so bloody annoying, because I have to waste an antidote or run back to the Pokemon Center. Albeit, we are heading in the direction of one as well, I suppose. But it's going to take a while to get there. <sighs> nice. I can't afford to be nice. Try to become the world's greatest Pokemon trainer with normal types. That was a tough mission already. It took me forever to get past Brock. At least this is a more um, recent update than how long that one took to get to. Though, before this, I was recording an episode for Pokemon Sapphire, and I hadn't updated that one over two, three, like five months or so. Like, the last update was in October, then before the one that's going up the day before this one. So, yeah, quite the long break there. Which is probably why people got mad at me for starting that, um, Jigglypuff run Pokemon Gold. They're like, you got all these other Pokemon runs you haven't fi even finished yet, you haven't touched for months, and you want to start a challenge run in Gold again. Like, you bloody wanker. Like, finish what you started in other runs first. I kind of get the point, though leaving the comment probably been a bit more helpful than, you know, just downvoting and letting me speak for you. 
Well, let's just take care of this, Carapy. One episode at a time, one battle at a time. You know, just how it goes. I'll be at least we get more battle, more than one battle in this game. At least, right? Because in um, Rome Total War, usually an episode ends with just a battle. Because they take so long while I'm doing the sea invasions lately. So what was really annoying with the last one, you know, I was doing, um, I was invading the f into Asia Minor finally. And the battle took f way longer than I wanted to because some dogs got lost trying to travel through the city. They were trying to follow these light infantry and they managed to hunt them all down. Then they are trying to charge at these um, chariots. The problem is they couldn't path find their way to the chariots because they're trying to run through some small gaps that didn't really exist. So they got stuck on some walls. And once you've unleashed the dogs, you can't control them anymore. So, they are now stuck. You know, just a couple hundred dogs just running back and forth, you know. Lomea's just a little bit over a hundred, but yeah, they're just running back and forth. Like, let me at him, Master. Let me at him! And there's no one to attack. Because they can't get there, because their pathfinding is all screwed up. So I had to slowly move in. Thankfully, I brought along some um, mercenary hoplites. So I just positioned them, you know across the street and drew in the um, chariots using some archers and stuff and they just smashed into the hoplites but not didn't didn't really damage them at all because they just couldn't get through because chariots while powerfully uh, powerful offensively are also very very fragile like you even look at them funny they fall apart like that's how bad they are so as far as I was concerned the chariots weren't a big problem you know since I had the advantage of the sea streets with the spears it was kind of devastating for them Yep, you're done like dinner. So I didn't even finish my dinner. I ate most of it, and then it's just like, you know what, I'm too full. Okay, we can find a Jigglypuff. If we do, I'll catch it. Or try to. Nope, just a manky. Or, an, or if this was, you know, Final Fantasy X-2, Keymon. Yeah. I haven't let go of that. It was so dumb. Well, I'll take another shot finding Jigglypuff. Nope, we found ourselves a little sparrow. Well, as much as it'd like to spear us, I got other things to do. Well, at least we managed to reach the Pokemon Center. Next time, you know, we'll head into Mount Moon and probably make our way to Cerulean Sea. Though that might, episode might have a cut in it. Like I said, I gotta make sure I pick up Clefairy. Because um, Clefairy, you know, can do everything Jigglypuff can do for me, but better. But I'd still like to have Jigglypuff around. Just because it's a normal type, even if I'm not going to use it long term, I'd still like to say if we had a Jigglypuff. Until mm -hmm. next time, then. See ya.